Good morning, and today we are going for our talk and show. Where are we going today for our talk and show? Yes, today we are going to an aviary. An aviary is a large place where birds are kept. How many birds are there? There are more than nine thousand different kinds of birds, and the and their body is covered with feathers. Why are birds important to us? Birds eat insects. They that destroy or eat plants. We get most of our food from plants. If insects destroy plants, we will not have food for us. People in the world need food, so they need not go hungry. We will name the common birds now. What are they? Crow, sparrow, pigeon, woodpecker, sunbird, and miner. Birds that we see on the farm. Hen and cock, duck and drake, goose and gander, and also a turkey. Birds that eat small animals like the frog, snake, rat, a kite, vulture, eagle, owl, and peacock. Birds that live near water, that eat fish and insects, duck, swan, crane, stock, pelican. And can you see that kingfisher? He sits like a king on the branch and watches carefully into the water and dives quickly to get his fish. Birds also live in cold places too, like the penguin. Can you see the penguin on the iceberg? Now we have the largest bird. It's an ostrich, and the smallest bird, the hummingbird. Where do birds live? Birds live in nests. Birds use different things to build their nest, like twigs, leaves, mud, grass. Some birds build their nest on trees, holes, buildings. On rooftops, on the ground, and near the water side. Birds lay eggs and take care of the nestlings. Birds lay eggs, and they take care of the nestlings. You can see the young bird growing in an egg. And the parents take care of the young ones too. You can see the mother bird feeding her nestlings. It's so beautiful. They take care of the nestling. Little bird, little bird, fly around up to the sky, down to the ground. Little bird, little bird, flap your wing. Open your beak and sweetly sing. Little bird, little bird, fly to your nest. Now it is time to take a rest. Bird's body is boat shaped. And has light bones. This helps the birds to fly. 
can you see this parrot over here with this wings spread out and the parrot because the body is light and it is boat shaped it can fly we cannot fly because our bodies are heavy now birds have different kinds of beaks because they eat different kinds of food see the spoon shaped beak so you know that they live near water side you can see the sparrow with a short stubby beak because it eats grains and insects from the ground and can you see the parrot with a hooked beak the hooked beak helps it to break the nuts and open up the bean pods and can you see this long beak I think it is the crane or the kingfisher. Yeah, it lives near the water side. Now, birds also have different kinds of feet. Can you see the different kinds of feet? Yes. The feet tells us what they eat and where they live. What they eat and where they live. Can you see the claws which helps to hold the branch so that even in a strong wind they won't fall and you see in the short stubby um, claws which helps to helps it to scratch the ground and you see the webbed feet the duck's feet because it lives in water most of the birds that live in water have webbed feet and the claws help to hold the food tight like we have use our hands to hold it tight so now you have learned about birds. Today we are going to show you an experiment. The question is why do birds lay oval eggs? Now here we have two eggs. Now we asked you the question why do birds lay oval eggs? Why? Now we are going to teach, show you this experiment and you can try it out at home. Here I have two eggs. One egg is boiled and the other egg is not boiled. Now, if I roll one, the egg that is boiled, it will just keep rolling. Watch it once more. It keeps rolling. See, because it is boiled. But look at the other egg. It doesn't roll. It just moves a little. So, when birds lay over leg, it does not roll out of its nest. So try this experiment at home and have fun. See you again.